responded from the bye week? Kind of what, what's your assessment of your team going into this week's game? Oh, everything has just been the same. Just us getting better at what we do. Um, just practicing, you know, just teaching as coaches and guys getting fundamentally better. And, you know, obviously we did a little preparing for our opponent. First of all, said that each position group there is three things you kind of focused on to get better at, the, you know, from each group. What was your group's three things to, to improve on? All right, same thing. It's just, you know, technique, the fundamentals, and we always work on tackling. So those are our three things in the secondary. What have you seen from Aaron Fuller and how big a threat is he to defend this week? You know, um, Washington has a good team, but it's about us. It's about our preparation, um, just about what we're doing, and just the same thing, just going out there and preparing for each game, no matter who the opponent is. You're a longtime Pac-12 guy. What do you know about, uh, or what do you think about uh, winning with Washington Northern? I mean, it's a game. You know, I've been, like, I've been, yes, you're right. I've been around the Pac-12, and all these games are the same, you know, to me. Uh, you got to get your team ready to play. You got to motivate them, and, and, and really, you just nothing separates any team. It's about the team who's going to come out there and is just well prepared. You know, um, who's going to go out there and execute? Who's going to play with great effort and, and tackle? It's always important to pressure an opposing quarterback. But when the stat splits are as stark as they are for him, when he faces pressure, and when a defense can get after him, is no. how is that what you see? Well, the stats would show at third and seven plus, he's the worst in the league. Gotcha. And at third and six and shorter, he's the best in the league. So I would say. Yes, and I watched the Auburn game because I was there. So, gotcha. yeah. Uh, how important is it to create pressure on him? I think week? it's important to execute whatever call that Coach Levitt calls. So our preparation <laughs> is going to be with him. <laughs> Ugo is coming off the big game against Cal. What have you seen out of him and what's gone into his season this year? I mean, Ugo just did a great job of just, you know, leading and, and taking, you know, amongst himself to make sure that he's doing the right things. and and you know, executing the right techniques. You know, he's doing a lot of studying the film. He's been up, you know, every early every day. He'll come in and ask me what he wants to wants wants to see or what we want him to see and then he'll go take the group and they'll get some extra meeting time. So I think that's helped him a lot. Yeah, how have you noticed some of the younger guys just feeding off of his energy and leadership? They're watching. You know, they're watching the way that he prepares, the way that he practices. So that's good. I mean you got a guy like that that's doing well you know, doing a lot of this stuff off the field as well as on the field, you want to make sure that those guys are following in those footsteps. Washington lost a couple guys, but still one of the most explosive offenses probably in the Pac-12. Is this the toughest challenge you guys have Really? Who'd they lose? That's what, well, I mean, they lost, what was that? Uh, who's, thank you, Pettis, Dante Pettis. But I mean. Oh, you talking about last year? Off yeah, last just from year, last, just, just about last year. I yeah. thought you were telling me somebody got no, hurt. No, 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 but just in general, <laughs> like, how, how, ex how explosive, that, you know, they are. Is it the toughest challenge you guys have faced as a defense this year? You know, I, I say this, it's all about us. I mean, if we play the way that we're capable of playing the first three quarters like we did against Stanford, um, if we play and get turnovers the way we did against Cal and we prepare and everybody's disciplined, then it doesn't matter who's on the field. With a new play caller for them on offense, there has been changes statistically. Have you noticed any changes in what they do compared to a year? I think they're a very good football team and they're well prepared and we're well prepared. What have you seen from Javon to uh, get into the point where he's seen serious minutes now? Uh, you know, Javon has, you know, he just he just keeps playing. You know, he's still learning, you know, on the defense, but he just keeps playing. And what I see him is him getting with Ugo, and they're studying and watching film. And, you know, he's just following that lead, and he's taking a lot of coaching, just focusing on technique and, and fundamentals. And, you know, he has great ball skills, which allowed him to get those interceptions, you know, a couple weeks ago. Statistically, Aaron Fuller is one of the better receivers in the conference. What's kind of the, the challenge that teams have of covering him? I mean, I, I just think you have to go back to your technique and your fundamentals. You got to know where your help is and you have to execute.